is still being considered one of the most devastating fires in the state's history. More than 1,000 structures have burned, along with 6,200 acres. Our Alex Capriello reports on why residents have to wait to get back to their homes if there's anything left. Neighbors have been answering the call to help with donations and food. As the Marshall Fire in Colorado dwindles and displaced residents return to see what's left of their homes, almost untouched, members of the community join together to provide relief and support. On Sunday, volunteers from across the state came to help pack up carts and load up trucks for mail delivery in the Louisville and Superior area. I was laughing. I'm talking to my wife. I'm like, you won't believe it. I said that the mail truck is driving up the street. A Louisville preschool owner we got the call to evacuate and transformed her school into a donation center. Oh, that's wonderful. From clothes All coats and blankets. to water to canned foods and pet supplies. She said the donations have been piling up. We had three people in our community who have lost their homes, and so right away it was really um, obvious that we needed to do more. A family who once lost their home to a wildfire opened up their dog training and boarding business as a donation drop-off. They need help. And we need to help them. And because we were helped, that's something that we want to we want to make sure we do. Colorado Governor Jared Polis and FEMA administrators assessed the fire damage on Sunday and on Monday a disaster assistance center will open to help people who were displaced or who lost their home in the fire. For a lot of people like me, it's the worst thing they've ever been through. Alex Capriello, News Nation. And smoke from that wildfire led. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.